Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, 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 Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Ten. Squeeze. Over the star. Ten. Ten. Yeah. Good evening. It's that time of year when the long, hot evenings of summer give way to the glorious pageantry and the short, cool evenings of fall. Our activities begin to go indoors. Dining out at a fine restaurant is one way I, and I know you, like to celebrate this season. Tonight, we have a group of restaurant professionals who I hope will assist you in navigating the world of Cleveland restaurants. And now, the man who leaves his bohemian regalia at the door before he does a show Chad Stanley. Hello again and welcome back to the Literary Cafe Talk Show. You know, you know, people are into all kinds of different things, but one thing we can all agree on is food. Everyone loves food. Our next guests are esteemed restaurant critics. Please welcome Mike Baker and Gene to the stage. <laughs> You know, originally when we uh, set up this segment here, um, we had an esteemed world traveler that was going to come in and talk about restaurants from all around the world. And I guess he had to leave the country because he didn't show up tonight. But, uh, but that's okay, because we've got three restaurant professionals. Now, uh, I have Mike Baker here immediately to my right. I have Gene, and I'm sorry, Jackie. Jackie. We have Jackie here. And kind of give us a little bit of a background. Not a long dissertation, but tell us of your own personal experiences in the food industry. Mike, Mike you start. Um, I've been a chef in Cleveland for probably 15 years. I've worked in various restaurants. Right now I'm at the Wyndham Hotel. Ooh. Um, and I eat. Yeah, ooh. Ooh. Mm. Ah. I eat. And I and drink. <laughs> Jackie. Yay. Or Jean, I'm sorry. Um, I've been eating in Cleveland for about 29 years now, and, wow. and um, uh, I really just want to get onto the slamming of these restaurants in Cleveland. All right, and let's okay. slam away, okay. Jackie. Oh, Jackie. Well, my first job was famous recipe chicken. So hey, but you know my father-in-law is John Zubel, oh. who is just the restaurant. You know he goes to every restaurant in the. World. So you caught a lot of and tips so from I him. And so I eat, you know, I eat out a lot. All right. All right. And drink a lot of wine. So. All right, all right. I eat out a lot too. Let's cut out the small talk and get down to business. Now, I see the restaurant experience threefold. There's the service. You can't get away from that. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's the food. The food's got to be right. It's got to taste good. And the afterglow. That's what I call it, the afterglow. Price, so. Price too. Okay. When the meal, like the dessert? Well, right. yeah, we'll, we'll include the dessert All and the right. food for All the right. sake of Let's argument. Go. But the afterglow, I think, is important because once you finish that meal, you have to sit back and go. It was all worth it. Oh, that was yeah. good. Yeah. That was good. Right. And that's, that's crucial to make you want to come back, to make you, you know, go on and on about that restaurant for your friends. Now, um, your own personal experiences, let's cut to the chase. What is an example of a fine restaurant in the city of Cleveland? As of today, as of April of 1997. I think we had 
agree that our favorite restaurant Marlin. is Marlin. 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 I don't agree. Oh, he's biased. He works at the Wyndham. He's gonna say, no, it's not the Wyndham. Hey, go the ahead. Marlin. Why do you like Marlin's? I, uh, Marlin, Marlin is located food, where? Prize, West 6. Best bathroom in the city of Cleveland for a restaurant. Oh, and the bathroom is very important. Oh, I left that off. Of I'm sorry. Yes. The bathroom? I know. That should be the after the... That should be the before glow. I think the bathroom contributes to the afterglow. I agree. We I'm, like Marlin. I'm learning as I go along. Their tuna is never overcooked. <laughs> What's your specific complaints with Marlin? Um, I have no complaints with Marlin. I just think Mallorca is probably the best restaurant in Taylor. Mallorca? Yeah! Mallorca fans. Um, I haven't seen anything like Mallorca in Cleveland since I've been here. Too new. We've never heard of it. How it's been open a be month. Around? It's the best restaurant in Cleveland. How many folks out there have heard of Mallorca? I... I have not, I have not heard of my orca. Okay. And since we're giving them, we're giving them a, we're giving them a cheap plug. I think uh, the host should get a, a, a right. meal there. My orca is a, is a Spanish restaurant that's located on West 9th Street. Yes. All right. Um, back where Outback Jacks used to be. Oh. Something. Yes. Um, phenomenal the food. They have an appetizer, um, cuttlefish. And squid ink. I love that fish. Is, that is beyond belief. It's, it's Any seafood garbly. fans out there? Um, I had their. Let me think what I have on this there. I had a goat stew, like a curried goat stew. That was just so flavorful. The the waiters are phenomenal. Of course, they're all gay because in any fine restaurant, all the waiters they are gotta gay. be. They yes. gotta be gay. And these are like Spanish gay guys, which are very rare. Because they because, dance. Because of the, like. Like the Spanish macho thing, yeah. it's really hard to get Spanish gay waiters. But at Mallorca, I have a lot of them. I mean, it's like across uh. the board. Lots of Spanish gay waiters. Yes. <laughs> Ex ballet dancers. Menudo guys. Guys who are in Menudo. Yes. Um, okay. Well, those are those are fine restaurant establishments. Now, now let me say, let me say this. I mean, Cleveland, uh, in the eyes of some people from out of town, they may look at us as a backwater. And do you think that's a fair assessment in terms of restaurants? Or do we have pound for pound the, the, as, as good as any other city? Fine, fine. Uh, no, so. basic, basically yeah. we suck. Uh, yeah, I don't think we come anywhere near. Yeah. And why, where do we fall we blow. short? Because, Especially in service. Because restaurants don't pay any money for the cooks or the train. sous chefs or the chefs. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, what do you want? Hyde Park is oh, one of the worst. Don't go to Sammy's. Oh, I don't think yeah. okay. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Shoo my Re ass. Restaurants is an investment. They don't pay for the staff. They don't pay for anything. It's the worst place. Cleveland is one of the worst places in the country to okay. cook. Let's just say, let's just say, like, back it's in, uh, let's take it back 10, like 10 or 15 years ago. Uh, you know, if it was a real special occasion, yeah, we're going to Sammy's. No, well, Sammy's. That isn't necessarily so anymore, now, is it? I no, mean, no, not at all. Now, now you hate better. Sammy's. No, because they. Why, why do you hate there? Sammy's? Because Nina doesn't make it. There's no quality. And they thought like we were young, and they could treat us like like we were gonna tip up. Ah. So they stopped us by the bathroom. <laughs> Maximum attitude. Okay. And I didn't like this by the bathroom when I was eating. You know, it's like really was a bummer. Ah! Other. So, so I think the litmus test, the litmus test is elegant service with a touch of homespun hospitality. Correct? You don't want to be too stuffy. There are some really good restaurants. Well, the beer is really important. The beer is crucial. The beer, they have to have Guinness. Any restaurant that doesn't have Guinness, in my mind, is a diner. Okay. okay. All right. Fair enough. Now, of course, uh, we are based in uh, literary, and the hot ticket around town right now is Lola's. Lots of people talking about Lola's. Let's take the gloves off, shall we? What's the deal on Lola's? Lola lives up to it. She does? I ate, ate at Lola's yesterday, and it was, a, it was a really good meal. The price was right, and the bathroom was really price good. Is, price is right. The bathroom is good for the women, but my fish is a little dry. Mike well, Baker, you your feelings on Lola's. I haven't been able to get a reservation yet. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Heard, you have to know the right people. Heard he's a nice guy. Yeah. And I heard he's, he's really talented, cute. and I heard he's, he's doing good he stuff here. And, he, and he's cute. Yeah. 
Oh, he is cute. How about He's that? Definitely cute. Okay, now how about that? Uh, how about that? That that uh, intersection right there in the warehouse oh, district. Uh, we've got the what is it? Greek Isles, and then on the on the other side of the street, it's Piccolo Mondo, and then it's the one that went out of business. Six oh three. What happened with six oh one or six oh three? Whatever. I, I don't know. No, Man, I don't know. problem. What was the name that? Piccolo Mondo. They can't stop eating in there. I mean. They're, they're lined up. I'm a chef oh. in Cleveland. I can't afford to go to all these places. They yeah. pay us crap. Like it's pretty consistent. We're paying worse than every secretary in this place, you know? Okay, let's let's uh Can let's I say Absolutely. No, no. Oh, granted, yeah. we can't go out every night. We can't We're not we're okay. not right, filmmakers. Yeah, what is that? Say, the back of the camp. I'm going to say, I'm gonna say Marlins. I'm yeah, but if you, can, if you can't afford to go to Marlins, where should you go? That was Lock my next keeper. topic. Lock keepers for the good. My That's next no. topic is no? Taco, Taco Loco. Taco my next Loco. topic, please. Oh. Or Penante. Why didn't I bring my bell? Can we have a buzzer, please? No, this is an turn it Thank you. Round one. Round two. Those of us out there that don't have a lot of money and uh, mm. want to enjoy... A reasonable, What's the name? Ex, you know, dining experience okay. without a lot of money. I think that that will resonate with a lot of people out there watching right now. We have the band, Andrew, Andrew Coletto, the band. Lola's. If you don't have a lot of money, you Lola's cost. Lola's is a little expensive. No, I think we're talking about Lola's cost. Are, are you talking like punk rock, a lot of money? You know, like well, it's like just, you got like ten bucks in your I'm wallet. Talking and you about, take your girlfriend out. I'm talking about. I'm talking about. I'm talking about the standard meal cost about. Uh, Me Pueblo. Eight ninety five to twelve ninety five. Okay. Oh, that's, that's still high. Uh, Five ninety five to go nine ninety five. Four ninety five burrito that'll kill you. Yes. It's Me Pueblo. Me Pueblo on the rain. No, on the rain. Uh, Please, sit Please, sit Please sit down, Jackie. Please sit down. You'll have your chance. Me, me Pueblo. The host would like to extol the virtues of Me Pueblo. I went there. Me Pueblo is the best after chorizo Saturday, I've ever had. At the Saturday evening of drinking, we all Isn't it? piled into Me Pueblo. It was wonderful. And on the weekends, they have that like horrible stuff that only Mexican guys eat after they like drink tequila for like a whole weekend. Right. Menudo. Yeah. And oh yeah. It was an LA experience there. Yeah. Because that's, that's where Pueblo you eat oh, in LA. Incredible stuff. Yeah. Me Pueblo is fun. Now Taco Loco, I don't know anything about Taco Loco. Taco, Taco Loco's okay. down the street on Lorraine. And it's kind of like this cheesy bar that has like very authentic Mexican food for about six bucks to seven bucks an oh, entree wow. and very good beer. Not Very good what? beer. You indicated right here a personal favorite of mine, Nam Pen. Yes. They used to live next door to me in Lakewood, and then they moved. They went from this tiny little store to uh, what is it like they're west of 100? Small. Yeah, but they're a little bigger though than they were before. 131st block, something like that in Lorraine. You eating there? Yes. yes, of course. I think they're very good. I do too. They're wonderful. Absolutely great. Four stars. Now um, we can drink on TV. It's potato. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you, you know, it's Coca-Cola. Can I do some heroin? You can't drink. You can't drink on the set. That'll be edited out of the afternoon show, but the evening show okay. is fine. That's good. We don't want the kids to see. Guinness. We've covered. We've covered a lot of ground here in terms of restaurants. Now, yeah. if I can please have the attention of the audience. Yes. I am now going to entertain, and this is an opportunity. You have yours truly, the host, and three esteemed restaurant yeah. critics who know their way around a restaurant. Here's your opportunity. If you have a particular restaurant that you want to say thumbs up or thumbs down with the panel, you want, you want us to give us, to give our unbiased opinion. Here's your opportunity, sir. Identify yourself and what restaurant would you like us to discuss? Go ahead. Okay, uh, well, I, I ben Franklin. No, that's Ben Franklin. <laughs> Tracy's, Tracy's Thumbs restaurant. Up. Tracy's restaurant in Ohio City on the yeah. corner. Very small, little, nice, Thumbs wonderful up. little Italian kind of place. Nice little lunch place. Yeah. Tracy's up. restaurant is probably one of the little gems in Cleveland that you will never like run into unless you hear it or read it from somebody else. Are we in agreement on that? I have never been there. Next question. 
Yeah. All right. Next you? question, sir. Identify yourself and your question to the panel. This man, not you. You're done. Sorry, man from Cleveland, Ohio. I'd like to discuss uh, La Tortilla Feliz, the uh, Central American oh, property. There you go. Uh, oh, yeah. well, he's I thought it sucked. Are too right here. You know, yeah. right off the bat. No I walked in there. I walked in there on a Sunday evening once at 7 o'clock and they were closing. Yeah. And I was very disappointed by they that. Sell this, they sell this really good beer called Chingu from the... Uh, um, yeah, right the they don't have it anymore. Oh, they don't? No. Well, that was the only good thing about that I've place. I got a Chingu that like put me on my ass after one beer. While we're talking about really good. while we're talking about inexpensive places to eat, that's a very good value by the way. Yes it is. La tortilla. They're very fine yes, people. Please. Their food blows. Oh we covered that. Where are you? We all love it. Oh I'm Chris. I am dry fish. My fish is even bra what? my raw tuna was perfectly raw. I found a I found a human tooth in my minestrone. Do uh, we have any other questions for the panel? Uh, yes, Clyde, approach the stage, please. We have another question here. I'm sorry. Do we have another question? Whose question? No, him, that guy behind you. Yes, sir, please identify yourself. Your question to the panel. Yeah, my name's just uh, some guy. There's a place north of uh, St. Clair. Are you are in the old warehouse. On the It's a beat up old warehouse You're with a little away. sign that says the old warehouse, maybe it's the old factory. Oh, the factory. <laughs> factory. That big burgers there. Oh, they were good. Well, they were probably very good. you're probably the only guy who's ever gone there. Have you ever heard of Diamonds? I had I've lunch there. Ooh. Once. Those are in the hard times, right? <laughs> Before you became a big talk show host. Yeah. I'd rather not talk about it. Well, that was a very good question. A very obscure question, and we like that here. I have a, I have a personal observation. I love dim sum at Bolun. And that is a whole different matter, okay, because there's dim sum competition out there. Oh, yeah? There's like, uh, there's that plaza Tiny at East things. 30th. And uh, pain. Lee Waz. Lee Waz is very good. Right. Please sit down, Jackie. <laughs> sit down. I haven't finished my you're, talk. You're, you're but our balloons, I time. think, is great. Anybody out there a fan of balloons? You know, what? What's that one um, Oriental restaurant on Payne that's in like an old Burger King? Oh, 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 I you must say this. You know what I'm talking this. about? It's really good. Well, yes, I know what you're talking about. They're across the street from Bolu's. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. I've eaten there. Um, I guess. Jackie, please sit Oh, down. they're very good. They have, they have like, this um, this shrimp and, like, this very sweet curry sauce that's excellent. I've heard good things about it. Yeah. It's, like, it's good food, good no, food in, a, like, a fast food we can't, environment. I can't think of their name, but. I have to, I want to ask the bar, I want to ask the bar for a moment of silence. Chinese food. Chinese food has come a long way in the last 10 or 15 years. Yeah. Just this year, the famous Cleveland landmark that's been open for years has closed. Chung Was is now closed. <laughs> that, oh yeah, down can in I little stand up now? Go ahead. <laughs> you can stand up. Give it I'm once. What time? Well, we're we're, we're we sad. Go there, like when I was in high school, and we'd go there at like four in the morning, and like my friend would puke all over the place, you know, because like Chung Was. <laughs> Okay, quick panel. We've no, covered a lot of ground. Are yeah. and not coming back. I want to say this. Okay, let's say we have hardly any money and we don't have the patience dealing, you know, with with everything that goes into a, a fine dining experience. You just want to get in, eat, and get out. What's your favorite little? What's your favorite little? Uh, quick, Nate, quick Nate, 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 Diana's on uh, West Diana's 117th. Good. Diana's good Those Greeks know how to do I cheap like food well. Yeah. Oh boy. They pile it on, they pump it out. What is it with the Greeks, man? They have it all figured out. I don't know. I mean, let's hear it for the Greeks. Thank you. That brings us to a close. That was Mike Baker, Gene and Jackie.
cable access 53 is wacky. And now, here's the man who's next in line for Channel 5 late night news updates, Chad Stanley. Go into high gear. Right now, let's please welcome uh, a gentleman I know absolutely nothing about. Uh, all that I know about him is that uh, his name is Dan, and he's from Chicago. Please welcome Dan from oh, Chicago. Oh. You're from Sweet Home, Chicago. I am, yeah. It's good to have you on the show. You. Uh, you. You're a brand new individual here at the Literary Cafe. <clears throat> how many people know, how many people have seen hide nor hair of this guy before? I <laughs> <laughs> I give her a good tip. <laughs> Dan, in our extremely brief pre-show interview, you told me you were an artist. So that's basically it. Go. Right. Go? Okay. Um... Well, I, uh, I'm an artist who hasn't really done anything in a while, so I thought I should move to a smaller city uh, so that maybe, uh, you know, I could sort of get somewhere. You know. That's the beauty of Cleveland. Uh, yeah. It's a small city within the confines of a large metropolitan area. It seems that way. It really does, yeah. Uh, so I met this fabulous uh, gallery owner. And she promised me the stars. And so uh, I came here. Can you mention the name of the gallery? No, you know, I, 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 I can't. I can't mention it. No, I can't mention the name of it. No. I sort of like keeping it in suspense. Yeah, no, it, I was threatened with my life. If I mentioned her name or the gallery name, I mean his or her name. Do you, nice, uh, nice comeback there. Thank you. Um, do you recognize the fact that uh, from whence we are speaking, we are nerve central in Cleveland's art community right I here? I get that sense. I get that sense. That's why yeah. I wanted to be part of this whole experience. Were you participating in yesterday's art walk? You know, during yesterday's art walk, I uh, was just like too wasted. <laughs> Basically, to participate, I was planning on it. Dan, you'll fit in just fine. Okay, good. I get that sense. Yes. <laughs> well, that's what that's what uh, drew me to, to Tremont is mm -hmm. the fact that there are lots of uh, artists and lots of people who just seem to be doing their own thing and uh, you which know, expressing part of, themselves. Yes. Uh, which part of Chicago do you hail from? I, south side, north I side. I hail from the north side of Chicago, which is uh, quite the entertainment strip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess in certain respects it is. Yeah. Entertainment strip. Yeah. Yeah, although I've never really participated in any of that. A lot of improvisational comedy, theater groups, yeah, what yeah, have you. Yeah, that, that does exist there, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. I was not involved. Not a lot of that much. here, though. Uh, not much comedy just here. Just as well, really. I mean, <laughs> it's, uh, it's not, um, yeah, that's, that's good. That's not, a shame. Not you know, tonight. It, it is. Yeah. Really a shame. <clears throat> No, it's it's uh, that's that is something that happens there, but uh, it's not something I was particularly into, so, so I don't Dan, miss it. Dan, now you're in Tremont. You're yeah. at the center of it all, Cleveland, uh, uh, rock and roll capital. That's right. what the papers say. Um, how are you uh, basically getting your feet on the ground? Uh, are you working towards something, uh, an opening somewhere in this well, fictitious to be named later? Yeah, gallery? like I said, I, I've been threatened by this woman. Yes. Uh, I can't mention her or name. Or man. Or man. Him exactly. or her has right. threatened my life. So I can't really mention the name. But uh, yeah, I, I, would, I would hope to uh, participate in, in all of this excitement uh, in some way, you know, as, if, as this is actually right here. We're mm -hmm. engaged right now. Um, yeah, I, I would like to participate in, in that. And, and it seems like uh, Cleveland has, because of the scale of Cleveland, it's, it's mm -hmm. sort of easier to... Uh, participate in things and, and sort of make some sort of statement other than... Nine, nine. Yeah. Where'd you get those pants? Yeah, that's a kind of a Jim Morrison, I am the lizard king, I can do anything <laughs> type of motif. Uh, these are, I got these at a, a little store in New York called Smiling Nylon. Oh it's my. The name of, no, it's a great place. And they were like 12 bucks. <laughs> what about the shirt? The shirt was like 900. 
Don't you feel like you're in Details Magazine? <laughs> I do. I do. Are you inebriated? I am completely trashed. <laughs> um, yeah, basically. That sums it up. That and, sums and it up. And let me tell you, Dan. I feel like close. I. I feel like I've known you for yeah, a lifetime. You I feel fit in very here like a glove. Too. Yeah. My God. Thank you. Thank you again for really, coming to the show, Dan from Chicago. <laughs> France. <laughs> and I'm in love with you. I enjoy the collegiate ambiance. Fortissimo, fortissimo non troppo. That will blow. Shazam! Oh. Whoa! Whoa! I'm Chad Stanley. A gift of God, a gift of nature. I'm Chad Stanley. You're enjoy him greatly. I'm Chad Stanley. He did not. He was not up to par at all during that thing. But he maintained his stage presence nevertheless. Well, that's all for now. You have yourself a great night. Bye-bye.